Hey guys, my name is Minnie and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, don't forget to press the subscribe button for more videos like this. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing a makeup look using some of my old and new stuff. Not sure what kind of look I'm going for today, but we are going to just go with the flow and see where it leads us. It's been a moment since I've done a makeup video and I wanted to do one today and share with you guys. Um, since I'm pregnant, I've been very blobby and feeling kind of like blah. So I'm going to snatch myself together today for you guys. I'm going to be doing a voiceover because my husband is going to be doing a meeting in about 20 minutes or so so I don't think we can cross each other so voice over for this makeup tutorial or makeup look video all right starting off with the Sisley primer and gonna lather it all over my face then moving on to the La Prairie foundation this brush is a Mac 170 brush put it all over my face and blend it out nicely this brush is really really nice I just bought it and I am digging it a lot I usually use my beauty blender but I am loving this brush so far. Time for concealer. I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape and I'm going to do my T-zone because that's my problem areas and blend it out nicely using that same foundation brush. Using my Burberry Contour Stick, I'm going to draw two lines down my nose. One, two. And with the same foundation brush, I'm going to blend out my contour. Make sure there's no lines. Keep buffing my face until everything is beautifully blended out. And now it's time to fix plus my face with the La Prairie powder. I'm going to bake, bake, and bake. You're going to get a very nice finish with this process. Using my MAC 263 brush and my MAC Brune eyeshadow color, I'm going to fill in my eyebrows and basically make it more natural. I know I don't have much eyebrows, but um, this is the easiest way that I found to do my eyebrows. And it always turns out nice, so just stick to what you know. With my Dior Brow Styler, I'm going to draw in some strokes in my eyebrows just in the front area to make it look like it's feathered eyebrows. So this is the new trend. It's like a microblading technique. Once I'm done, I'm going to buff out my eyebrows with the other end, the spoolie end. Then using my Anastasia Tinted Brow Gel, I'm going to add more color and make my eyebrows look more fuller and this is going to make it look more natural as well. With my Hakuhoro brush and using the same MAC Brune eyeshadow, I'm going to shade in my eyelids, fill in that area and make sure everything is smooth and there are no patches. So just keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, circular motion and extend towards the outer corners. And then we have the Fenty Beauty Eyeliner. Just line the upper lash line. I always do this because it really helps and makes everything come together. Just fill it in that waterline as well. Gonna curl my lashes to prep them for my eyelashes, my falsies. My Pupe eyelashes from my lash line, you can order this by emailing me at unmin at unmin.net. I'm using a tweezer to apply my lashes because it's the easiest process and then using my fingers to adjust them. You can position it to go higher or lower, whatever you like. With my Pat McGrath lip liner, I'm going to line my lips and I tend to overline my lips just to give that look that my lips are big and voluptuous. Moving on to my Pat McGrath Matte Trans Lipstick, I'm going to shade in my lips, fill it in, make sure it's nice and plumpy. Hakuhoro S111 brush, I'm going to brush off the Translucent powder and using my Chanel loose powder, I'm going to brush all over my face. This is kind of like a finish, a soft finish. Very nice. Using my Hakuharo S110 brush and the MAC blush, I'm going to rosy up my cheeks, bring some life to my skin. Then with the Hakuharo S103 brush, let's bronze my face. With the Benefit Hula bronzer, get a generous amount, blow it off, and then let's start sculpting. Beat that face and contour like you've never contoured before. So basically kind of just bring in the attention to your T-zone. So focus on the outer edges of your face and then tone. Sorry but I don't know what this brush is but I'm using it with the Kevin Coin Contour Dual to contour my nose once again but this time with a powder finish for that extra snatched look. We have the Fenty Beauty Diamond Balm. This is not a highlighter, but it's so pretty. I wanted to use it on my cheeks. Look how pretty. It's just basically sparkles and makes you feel special in some sort of way. 
And to seal the deal, I'm going to fix plus my face, spray all over, blow it off, and this should complete my final look. Just adjusting my hair, make sure it's proper for you guys. And I'm gonna call this the, I don't know, more like a soft Hollywood look, sweet and simple. Hope you guys like this video and thank you so much for joining me. Toodles!